What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Now this one is probably going to be very, very long. I'm not going to say it's going to be the longest video ever on my channel because I'm planning on making longer videos. But today I am interviewing Big T, aka Thundros. Um, say hello, how are you doing? What's crack a -lack? Exactly. So um, we're going to be interviewing him, which I'm, I've done before on my channel, but it was like eight minutes long so this time it's gonna be a bit longer so we're gonna kind of ask him questions and we're gonna add on to those questions like a normal interview so first up how are you doing how are you doing my man uh i'm awake it's it's been a been a trying couple of weeks but uh i'm awake i'm here i'm alive you are little alive. stuff exactly <laughs> so so how many subscribers do you have now first of all Right. Uh, we're sitting right now, give me one second here, uh, 3,815. What? This morning you had like 3,700 or something. So big man's growing, obviously. Yeah, it's been, like I said, it's been a crazy couple of weeks. Uh, could not have anticipated any of this growth. Didn't even expect to be within range of monetization for like another year. Yeah, I understand that, like... Isn't how many watch? I think you need four thousand watch hours, right? Yeah. Would you say the watch hours is harder or the the subscribers? Mine was growing kind of like at the same rate, so mm -hmm. usually watch hours was like slightly behind. But then, mm -hmm. when all of this kind of happened, they, it it kind of happened relatively at the same time, because I was already at about seventy two percent before this crazy growth started and then all of a sudden whoop 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 and it was it i'm uh, it just all happened at once it was it was weird so you were like growing slow and steadily and then just suddenly you just became... i would <laughs> yeah a little bit before my uh little jump there i had lost 3 subscribers so <laughs> 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 So, yeah, for me, it's a, for me, it's a lot different, I think, because I have, like, 350 subscribers now, but, like, I don't know, in the past 28 days, I've gotten 368 watch time hours, which is weird, because I've barely uploaded, but, like, my old videos just get so many, so many views that it holds up the channel enough to where I gain subscribers every single day. It's funny. Oh yeah. My uh, one of my old Amy baking company videos before this, I I have to see what it's at now. I think it was Amy on Doctor Phil. Oh yeah, that one has like twenty five k. I think it's. I think it had yeah, it had twenty two thousand before this big rush started. Uh, it's probably gradually higher, if the Joe Nagy videos are any tell, because the Joe Nagy videos were in the hundreds, which. You gotta remember, for me, was, uh, slapping. Yeah. And now one of those videos is at 14k, so... It's like... <laughs> Just blew up on him, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, so I have 1,300 watch time hours, which is one-fourth... More than one-fourth of what you need. And then I yeah. also... Yeah, and and then I have a little more than one fourth of what I need for subscribers. So I am doing similar, but like, so um, I'm gonna need to check out your channel for this for this like question, which is that oh yeah. So where do you see yourself taking this channel? Do you just continue making videos, or do you think like you're gonna make different types of videos now? Well, my general plan is um. First off, obviously going to keep making commentary. Everybody's liking commentary. I'll probably consistently hit Kitchen Nightmares videos because, I mean, those are my most popular. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I mean, yes, I'm going to keep making videos I want to do, but sometimes you do got to kind of do what your audience likes. That makes sense, yeah. yeah. They got you where you, they got you where you're at. And on top of that, I do love the Kitchen Nightmares episodes. They're, honestly, they're, they're kind of uh, therapeutic. Yeah. Because you're watching people that are like, wow, I am the best in the world. To And Gordon Ramsay comes in and goes, mm -hmm. well, 
How are you in business? <laughs> I, I I watch like loads of Kitchen Nightmares videos, um, like these these like episodes that I could find on YouTube, and they were they all basically were surrounded by the same plot. Like we were famous back in the nineteen hundreds, and uh, like in nineteen eighty, we were the biggest restaurant. But in the past few years, we've been losing business since because of my delusional mother or something. And then like they they're yelling at each other, so. And it's. It's so easy for them to hang on to that old success. Yeah, kind of like and me. I don't know, it's just, I, I, I see myself as a pretty egotistical person, so watching other people that are somehow, somehow worse than me, <laughs> and Gordon Ramsay coming in, smacking them around, like, dude, no, 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 <laughs> no. It's mentally therapeutic, like, <laughs> I worse <laughs> i i'm not as bad as some people are yeah for sure so um so you but uh, yeah what is it continuing on with your question um other ideas i've got uh eventually start a gaming channel i think when i hit around fifty thousand subscribers i'll start a side channel for gaming you know streaming stuff like apex all that jazz oh yeah maybe I'll count maybe link those two because i i don't know i'll i'll be honest i'm not super knowledgeable with twitch yet I wasn't knowledgeable with YouTube though, and who knows? Um, yeah. I, obviously, I'm never gonna beat out those hot tub streamers because I just, I don't, I don't got the uh, the body. I don't got that. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't got the the movies for it. Exactly. Um, but uh, mm -hmm. no, uh, that and like I said, I, I think I told you about this. I want to eventually start a charity using the channel to yeah, yeah. bring yeah. toys to people hospital but i'd also like to extend on the content like i'd like to make a separate channel where after i post the video i'd post another video on the other channel and instead of commentary explaining what i was actually thinking during those clips being like so so this is the joke i made for this like oh uh, like, uh, like more small, thunderous yeah kind of a small director's cut being like this is what i was actually thinking in the clip it's like as you can see this person was probably thinking like this and this and this <laughs> and I, I had to go with this kind of joke, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously. I, um, I see you made, like, these two videos, like, these two game reviews. Did you think of taking your channel in that direction, or did you just make them randomly and just never make them again? Uh, so they weren't necessarily randomly, and, and they did slap pretty hard for me. Like, they, they got a few hundred views. Mm -hmm. uh, well, at two of them did the, the control one n nobody likes that <laughs> but uh, no so what i'm thinking is with those i would like to do a couple more of those and i was kind of parodying uh slimesicle yeah yeah. Uh, he, yeah he makes funny games i mean my jokes aren't as good as his i was just kind of throwing random puns in there but um uh i think uh I think it'd be fun to do more of those but i gotta find other games maybe I, i'm trying to cover games he hasn't and he's mm -hmm. covered a lot of popular games like, you know, Fallen Order, uh, Spider-Man, stuff like that. Yeah. And I'd like smaller games like um, Gravity Rush. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Gravity Rush is fairly popular, but not a huge following as, like, obviously Marvel's Spider-Man. <laughs> mm-hmm. You but start... I think... Yeah. Um, sorry, did you want to continue? Or... Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 I've... Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, let's just continue. So, uh, when okay. you when you made your first video, it's like, like, so you made uh, your first video was on Craig Thompson, aka Mini Lad, I think. Yeah. Um, did you do you look back at that video and hate it? Or do you, or are you just like a normal, like, oh, this is my first video or something? So here's the thing. You have to look at all of your videos the way an artist looks at a painting. It doesn't matter how good the video is to the public. Every part of me is going to go, Because <laughs> here's the thing. I, I can see the mistakes. You guys might not see these little mistakes unless you really look at it, but I'm going to notice everything. Mm -hmm. For but sure. But that especially... That thing, like, if you watch that video and then watch my newer content, first of all, I was just mean. If I ever get canceled, it's going to be because of that video <laughs> or the vi videos 
after it. Like, I was just so unnecessarily aggressive. But it's also because I was trying to find my comedy style, and I was like, do I want to go full edgelord? Do I want to go like this? And, you know, it's... But, yeah. like, I don't top of that it was my first video and you'll notice a lot of rough cutting I, I even cut myself off in the second video in the middle of a joke and you see what I had for the for the editing portion my friend Dom Strider was the one that uh, helped me get into editing so what he did is he watched all my videos at the beginning and whenever he found a mistake he wrote it down and we'd usually meet up at a bar or something mm -hmm. and he here's the list of everything you did wrong <laughs> 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 wow, that's really no. I asked him to do that. I wanted him to catch my mistakes so I can get better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... uh, yeah. No, continue. Okay. Um. So you have like you have this group down here of like your friends. You have like mm -hmm. Dom Strider here, and then oh, oops, I clicked on one of your videos. Bruh, why does it go up? There we go. Okay. I so... meant to put you. Wait, did I put you in that list? No, you didn't. You should... You put, uh, you so see, you have Dom Strider, Killer Queen 55, Drek, Drek, Ert, Drek Art. Oh, oh, Drek Art. Oh, he does like, oh, yeah, this guy, the, the, I remember. Uh, and Drake then, me. yeah, and then you have the Sports Squad. Up, guys, it's a sp uh, yep. Do you know all these people, or do you just, like, find them randomly? I don't really know all these people, um, like uh, Dom Strider, he's my roommate right yeah. now. Um, Drek Art, I started talking to him. Uh, uh, started talking to him over Reddit because uh, I posted one of those. Um, hey, I'll uh, critique some of your videos, and I, I, I'll be honest. Here's the thing: when you do those critiques, usually you get thrown uh, a lot of random stuff, and obviously they're they're new YouTubers, so not everything is going to be great. But I was watching his videos and I absolutely just loved the style of his. So I started talking to him more. Uh, I gave him a feature on my channel in one of my videos. And on top of that, like, uh, I still talk to him almost relatively daily. Killer mm -hmm. Queen, uh, it's a little harder to get a hold of her, but I, I actually have more of a connection to her. She uh, knew some of my brother. I mean, she knew one of my brothers. And, um,. Yeah, and I think she has some kind of connection to the person that made my logo. Uh, I actually hired an artist, a uh, local artist, to make my logo and my the 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 design you see on this hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, and as for Sports Squad, uh, it's hilarious. He was somebody I I talked to on Reddit, and then we found out uh, by by some miracle that we actually lived like a town over from one another. <laughs> so. <laughs> you just visit him like every weekend. Uh no, we haven't gotten to hang out and visit, but you know, we go on Discord calls. He's super good with computers, so sometimes when I have questions and I can't get a hold of Dom Strider, I hit him up. I'm like, "Hey dude, what do you think of this and do you know this and this?" Like yeah. he's he is ridiculously good at editing though. Um he he'll definitely watch for him. He's definitely going to blow up one day. Okay, I, I will subscribe to him and then I can comment. Oh, gee. Um, <laughs> so, um, all right. Hold on, what was I, I just lost my train of thought. Okay, I I'll just ask a different question. So, um, what of your videos has been your favorite that you've uploaded? Uh, you know what, let me take a quick look at my videos. It's kind of hard to pick a, a, a favorite, per se. Mm -hmm. You know, it comes down, sorry if you're hearing noise, uh, they're going outside through the garage. Uh, <laughs> I don't actually hear anything. I blow my bedroom. Because you have such a good microphone, because this interview, I'm joking, I wish it was inter I wish it was sponsored, but like. <laughs> this interview is sponsored by, <laughs> sponsored by, uh. Thundro Sudi, Thundro Sudi. Make sure to buy a Thundro Sudi. Oh, I'm not even selling them yet. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're just giving them away for free. What a nice person, guys. He's all he's so, already doing uh, charity work. Just wait till he just wait till he does actual charity work. Yeah. The I think my favorite video at the moment is probably that hour long Amy's Baking Company video because even though it's banned in America and it's not monetized, so that kind of sucks cuz I would have made like $1500 from that. Um what? 
Yeah, if it, I'm basing it off of, here's the thing, my average retention time on that interview episode was like five minutes, and I've already made like 500 bucks from that. Well, the average retention time on the Oh, Fireball, oh yeah, because it's it, longer, yeah, I see that. Yeah, but because it's ineligible for monetization, I'm not making any money, but I'm actually very proud of that video. It was a long process, and it's... It, it, you know, the fact that I was able to do it and the majority yeah. of it was done in day. Like, I went from like 22 minutes in one day all the way up to that hour, which means I was probably av averaging about 10 minutes every hour. I was working my butt off and it showed me I can do this. And now with my regular videos, like that vegan video, it feels like I spent maybe an hour and a half on it. Yeah. And I'm good quality. And like, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing to me that. That video completely shifted my cognition of how hard I could be working on these and how fast I can get stuff done. Yeah, uh, so, I I like that video, that Amy's Baking Company video. I, it was a very good video. I, I haven't, I, yeah, I haven't finished it yet, but I feel like I'm going to probably finish it soon. I kind of watch it in, like, little parts. I've said it before. I don't expect people to actually watch my content. I used to watch Scrubby, who's the channel that ex inspired me to make my commentary channel. I used mm -hmm. to just turn on one of his playlists or keep turning on a different one of his videos while I was grinding in like Kingdom Hearts or playing Marvel Spider-Man doing side missions. Yeah, that's, and I, yeah, keep going. Yeah, people are like, oh, well, I haven't gotten to completely watch the video. That is fine. This is an hour long. The fact <laughs> that you, you, if you even get through all of it, I'll be completely flattered. <laughs> like, yeah, that's so yeah. It's the same with this video. You can you, sh you just turn it on, play video games. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just do you. Like exactly. it's it's like old with a with a customer service thing. You just put it on speakerphone and keep going about your day until <laughs> someone picks you up. You don't know when they're going to 1 minute, 20 minutes. It's 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 chat roulette. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um Okay, so I see like okay, are you are you've made like a few shorts? Do you think you'll make more shorts, or just? Uh, ben, um, a lot of my shorts are just me taking some of my older jokes from older videos and cutting them in because shorts pull in views, and it's a good way to introduce people to my channel. I do need to make a channel trailer. Maybe I'll have Dom try to record that. I'll do some, <laughs> but you know, I'll just hold Gizmo, my little dog, and be like, "Hey, come check out the channel." Hot dog. <laughs> or like just hold the dog with like a gun and say listen here right this dog will not survive unless you click the subscribe button and then just my, like <laughs> i swear to god it'll happen <laughs> anyway, i i will i i'm not scared i'm not scared and then take like a bird and shoot it just to like prove to people you have no heart but then in your videos you're, you're just like a great person give me one second here uh as you can see, my huge messy room, maybe, which is fine. <laughs> yeah, sir, I'm, I've accepted that. Okay. It's all good because I actually need to find a certain video. Hey, Gizmo, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> he whips out the gun like, subscribe. I love how accepting he is of me just picking him up. Like, he's he, he knows he's small. He's, no, like, he's just like I, I, I can't. Do it. Oh no, no, not the dog! I, I'll subscribe on all my accounts. Hold on. <laughs> it's, it's so it's so threatening. He sniffs the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> he just sniffs the barrel, like starts nibbling on the on the bullets inside. Don't worry, I subscribe, dog. Don't worry, don't worry. You won't die, on, but you have to subscribe as well to my channel too. I don't have a dog, but I have stuffed animals that I can burn. People. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's it's a win-win. Animals. <laughs> I don't have living animals, but I will burn the stuffed animals. That's not very vegan of you. Oh, yeah, true. The vegan teacher will hate me. She'll stalk me. It's fine. I live in Germany. She'll kidnap, she'll kidnap my dog and make it go vegan, which... <laughs> uh, I'll be... Gizmo would survive that diet. He's... He is at maximum three pounds. Oh Imagine if God. he lost, lost that weight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, um, uh, what do you think is, um, like, what do you, th what would you say brought you to start your channel? Uh, 
Well, like I said, I was watching uh, I was watching a YouTuber called Scrubby. Yeah, yeah. And I really liked his content, and I thought, hmm, maybe I could do that. Uh, I was wrong at first because I was I was terrible. You were I was just, <laughs> you were just um, evil. <laughs> No, no, no. I just I I didn't know how to make a joke. I was I, I was a joke. <laughs> but um no, uh between that and uh over the last couple of years whenever I was playing PlayStation, people were like, "Dude, you have a really nice voice. Are you a YouTuber? Like, are you secretly a YouTuber and a bunch of other stuff?" <laughs> and then what um I was doing oh, son of a goat, what is it? I was giving tours at my local college because I was an active member of my student government. And the lady at the front desk afterwards was like, You should become hey, a YouTuber. Boys, I've enjoyed listening to you give these people tours as you're walking through the halls. Like, they're like, You need to go into radio or something. And I don't know what it was, but that was the tipping point when I just said, You know what? Let's try. It. Let's, let's do it. Let's yeah. try it. Screw it. So thank you. <laughs> so we got we to gotta thank the lady at the front desk at whatever school you went to. Shout out to her. You, you, are you gonna send her like a free hoodie when you blow up? I've told her. I've been like, uh, uh, I was like, lady, uh, I don't know if you know this. <laughs> lady. Well, I'm not gonna stand on cams. Yeah, yeah, I know, but that just sounds so weird. Like, hey, woman. No, Bill. 14. Uh, because of that compliment, it was the tipping point. I just said, screw it, let's start the channel. Yes. And now you're famous. Oh, uh oh, I said screw it. You're demonetized. Oh, no, no. I make so much money. I live off of this. I know, right? I, I just took I just took food out of your children's house. <laughs> exactly, my children. Exactly. You see this wall? I'm not going to be able to pay for this wall. I don't see the wall, but... I, I, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You, you don't see the wall. Yeah, we, we had to make some sacrifices. <laughs> yeah, I can't. <laughs> Um, how long do you, does it take you to make an average video? Well, I mean, if I don't go full ADHD, I can probably make a video in an hour and a half, two hours. When I go full full ADHD, uh, from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. because ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seriously, it's stuff like, I, I'd be done, but I, I just can't focus. Yeah, I, I know that. I was I, I was editing, like, my one of my montages on my iPad. I, like, went full focus for, like, 30 minutes. I did, like, I, I had to sync all the clips, and I didn't find a way. I, I hadn't found the way yet where you could do it, like, in, in, in like, 10, in, like, 15 seconds, you could just sync the clip. No, I, I thought I had to do it with, like, math and stuff, so it took me five minutes per clip, and then I just kept, like, just... Focusing and then I just like went to get something to eat and after that it took me like 20 minutes just to go back to editing It was not yeah, funny. I feel that I need to hire an assistant or something be like, <laughs> okay Look your your job is to go get me food when I call you because if I get up and get food I'm gonna be away. F I I'm not just gonna get food. I'm gonna turn on TikTok <laughs> and 10 minutes 10 20 minutes food. I'm going there watching TikTok. <laughs> oh crap. I've got doing <laughs> it's like wait no I, I forgot i need to make money like <laughs> throws the phone in the toilet just quickly goes back to editing i hope i don't throw this phone in the toilet i don't think i could afford to pay this phone off right now <laughs> well just go go, go to like your, the place where you're working he's like listen i love i lost my phone <laughs> can i get a new one and they're like no <laughs> we, we don't just give away phones actually i'm gonna be leaving that job soon oh uh, I decided to take a take a pay cut and work at a local gas station because, first of all, the hours at my current place are just god awful. I mean, I'm working ten hour shifts back to back, which obviously has been a reason why my uploads have been so inconsistent over the last few months. Because I'm one of three workers in my workplace, and it's it's not working. It is emotionally not working. But I'll be able to focus on YouTube stuff. You know, I'll be making money off YouTube. I'll be making money at a job. At least I'm not sitting at home doing nothing between it. Like, I didn't just drop my job and had nothing planned. Like, I found another job, but um, more consistent hours. I'll be able to take care of my dog a lot better because I feel like he misses me. Uh, but I'll also yeah. turn into every other day, if not every three days.
which is good, which is what I want to do. I want to be working on my YouTube channel. And the thing is, I'm not by any means dedicated to a retail job, but I need something. Uh, yeah, I, I, need... I, I just realized I was very loud, so I had to make my microphone quieter. So I'm sorry if I was really loud before. I'm quieter we... now. Um, so I remember commenting, uh, on one of your videos a while back. I want to see if I can find that video actually, but I think, was I think it was, it was one. It was your, I, 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 uh, I, I know I have an incredibly deep voice. Um, where is it? Isn't it like, what's, what was it called? This is entertaining content. Hold on, let me look. Thondros, Amy's Bake. Look at that. I don't even have to type. My computer does it for me. There we go. I think this is the video. Yeah, 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 yeah I hear. I said, uh, you're all the good parts from Scrubby. I don't know why I said that. But, like, um, you were like, can I interview you for a video? And you were like, yeah, Scrubby was the inspiration for my YouTube channel. Um, I'm open to it. What did you think when just some random person asked you to interview for an interview? <laughs> uh, well, in the words of Zoidberg, what an honor. Um, no, legit. It seemed like, oh, cool. Someone someone actually thinks my content is cool. Like, when you're a small creator, every little thing feels just really good. So I was like, dude, yeah, of course I'll do this. Um, I've said from the beginning that when... If I if I actually get some traction and I turn into like a million subscribed YouTube channel, I want to help other people get to that point. Yeah, yeah. If doing that interview helped you down the long road, then hey, look at that! I'm starting to complete my goals. I'm helping other people out, which is all I want to do. <laughs> exactly. So, like, if you are from the future and Thundros has like. A couple million subscribers you know i just want to say i was there <laughs> since before 200 like so who's like the more dominant species i'm joking of course i remember you had like what one seven 170 subscribers when i commented this yeah <laughs> oh. i i i didn't realize it at the time but like nowadays if someone asked me like uh to interview i would probably be like Yes, of course. Like, yes, I I I love being interviewed, cause like. Well, here's the thing. Uh, you can very much say that my content is clout chasing. So, if someone wants to use me for clout chasing, I don't really have a right to say no. <laughs> <laughs> let me just quickly. I, hold on, let me there's just, gonna be. A, yeah. Like, I'm gonna have like two million subscribers, and there's gonna be a channel uh, as small as yours was back then. Everybody, welcome that's to gonna be like, hey. I'm gonna be like, you know what? I'm just gonna say, let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, the, pro the problem with that is like, once once people once people realize it's that easy, a lot more people are gonna do it, which might be the only problem. I mean, I don't know if you noticed, but I try to comment back to like every comment that comes through. Yeah, yeah. I, and I, 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 things are through the cracks, and you can't lose sleep over it. You just gotta keep doing your best. Exactly. Ah, uh, hold on, I'm just gonna change my title to Thundros' Friend Makes Video. There we go. I'm joking. We're not friends. Um... <gasps> no! <laughs> don't, no! Um, hold on. Oh my god, you have 340,000 views in the past month. That's, that's decent, that's decent. That's pretty bonkers. Like I said, I was used to getting like 50 views on a video, and now I... Usually get at least five hundred. <laughs> yeah, that is that is kind of cool. I, 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 I can see you enjoying that. Um, you know what's funny? <laughs> see, you're, the, all of the subscribers, like in your lifetime, have uh, absolutely bonkers. And I've I've mentioned this in a video before, but Gavin Magnus is subscribed to me. Oh yeah, I was so I I I don't know. I I'm gonna try and pull this up. You sent me a photo. Uh, I can pull it up. One oh, second. He showed it to me on a, on a um. He's, he's, this is a four million subscribed channel, and 
he's he's subscribed to me like (laughs) he's just like you know what i hate this guy why is he making videos on me i better subscribe like he's oh whenever i make fun of him he's gotta know (laughs) <laughs> he, he, he's just so, yeah i i can tell like the next gavin mag this video is gonna be exposing uh exposing thundros and then like he's gonna use this interview for clips and then like i'm is gonna it... i'm gonna get a total of two subscribers and i'm gonna be really proud of myself thundros says he cares but then he makes fun of me I'm like <laughs> how dare he he said he's gonna do charity work yet he is attacking a fellow content creator. And he sends out his little army. A <laughs> uh, like, content creator? <laughs> he's like, go crazy. <laughs> go crazy on him. I mean, he has gained 16 million subscri- uh, views in the past 30 days. So let's be honest. You know. Hey, 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 hey. Making content for children is profitable. Exactly. You know what? I'm going to make nursery rhymes. Bruh, every time I click on my channel, it, it shows like my, my like, channel video is kind of annoying but like you know what i'm gonna start making nursery rhymes those seem to get loads of views do it hecka's nursery rhymes (laughs) exactly hello children welcome to this nursery rhyme um yo so big t you have what when what do you when what don't 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 we don't talk you... about what just happened to my to my tongue. Um, what has probably been your your like video where you that you didn't want to record? Did you ever have like a video where you wanted to record it, but like l- like you felt like you had to, not you wanted to, you felt like you had to. Uh, let's see. I there are a couple. I mean, like I said, you're not always gonna feel up to things. But sometimes you feel like you need to put out content. Uh, those usually end up being my worst videos, though. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, for me, I don't uh, really have that. I just kind of upload randomly, and then I realize, oh wait, I haven't uploaded in a while. Like, yeah. That's it. Most um, forced per se would probably be. Uh, Well, not that one. One second here. I'm I just like while I'm saying this, I'm probably not going to upload after this video for a while, like maybe for 1 to 2 weeks because I I'm working on this. I I'm going to say it just so like Yeah, I, you're good. I'm just going to just I'm uh I'm making um a video on Lil Tay because um she uh if I I'm going to quickly look her up on um you making a comeback. The world doesn't need that pain, buddy. No, 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 no. She, she isn't. But like, it's it's, oh, it's slightly serious because the the thing is, right? Her old things are all just her flexing, right? But like, her most of her new Instagram posts are just like, um, like little Tay being like really upset or being bruised or something, and then um, and then that sort of thing, and then like the parents living a lavish lifestyle and stuff like that. Like, hold on. Um, let, let, let me see this. This run right here, uh, this is what Hanny Hope and Chris Hope did to Tay. They beat her, forced her to watch horror movies, dragged her, and locked her in a dark closet. Nobody is donating, and I understand it is because there is a stigma around my name, and I am hosting the fundraiser for my sister. GoFundMe has a 100% guarantee policy that eliminates fake fundraisers. Tay has been beaten and abused by Chris Hope and Hanny Hope, and I do not want to see this again. Tay does not want this man to control her life. He has done nothing but try to destroy her life. He has stripped her for everything. He has taken every last oh. penny. Well, that got dark real fast. I, I know. <laughs> exactly. A lot of people, though. Um, the problem is, right, a lot of people are saying this is real. Like, and then a lot of people are saying, like, this this doesn't look like beating. This just looks like a rash. Because, like, you can go f- see this yourself if you want. Um, like, the pictures, they, 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 I have to admit, they kind of look like rashes. And then there's, like, this picture of her with a bruised face, but it doesn't really look like her. And then, like, just her bruised face, and it doesn't look like her. So, like, 
a lot of people kind of think like with well this doesn't look real but then there was a photo uh, then there was like a photo post of um which is yes this has been brought to the police this the ministry of children and family development canadian version of cps got involved but none of them ended up doing anything legally to chris hope or his wife hanny except take her away from them the only thing to happen after they beat my sister is she did stop seeing them and staying with them um and then hold on it says Tay is a victim of child abuse. Here I um hold on. I don't know how to I don't know if there's anything more. Guys, um oh there we go. All donations help Tay. She is um fighting in the Supreme Court now. The money is needed to help her in court. You guys want her back, but she cannot come back unless she wins in court. So basically, this is sort of like a thing where people um are saying she's been it's been reported to CPS, but she's not winning, which means it might not be real. And then there's just if there's no proof of this, and it's, I'm pretty sure the GoFundMe is run by, like, her brother. So, people don't really believe it, but I will make a video on this, just to say. But, like, it's gonna be, like, a 30-minute video or something of me kind of going through Lil Tay's, like, start and what is happening here. And I'm gonna try and do some research on it, and just to see, like, what is actually happening. Hmm. Anyways, um... It's bonkers. <laughs> it is crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. Um... <laughs> yeah. So, how are you doing? Um, let me go back to my question. Depends on the day. <laughs> it depends on the day. So, um, so people that should be bigger. I should be here, in my opinion. I'm kidding, but like, um, so what has probably been like. What do you think where you look back and say, this is a bad video? What has been like? Do you have any? Uh, Colin Shar Shar video. It felt kind of forced halfway through, and but I was so deep into it that I couldn't just stop. Yeah, I get that. Like, I didn't want to just be like, oh, wow, I just worked on this all day, and now let's stop. Uh, but it felt pretty forced because there wasn't a ton of jokes to make about dudes going, oh, my God, I'm eating sour candy. Ah! You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh what has probably been the f your favorite like like the most crazy or f like dumbest or like the most of what you made a video on them person that you made a Wait, video on I'm sorry what was the question <laughs> So like you know how you've made you've made videos on like weird people on cringy people mm -hmm. crazy video what do you think has like been the most of that category basically if you know if you understand what I mean Who's been the cringiest? The cringiest uh, slash craziest slash whatever. Just like. Uh, let's see. Cringiest person. I'd have to say it's probably Sniper Wolf. I, I just, I don't, I understand her appeal. I don't understand her appeal, though. <laughs> like. Mm -hmm. I feel like, I feel like the thing with Sniper Wolf's content is like. I know this because I not only used to watch like some like for a few months. I would watch her every now and then, but I have friends who watch her as well, and they they used to watch her because like first of all it's like ch children, and I don't think they really realize how how content really works. It's <laughs> how content works. It's also because her her like content is kind of like they think it's funny if you know what I'm saying. Mhm. Mm so yeah. But this is weird, right? Because I'm gonna go. Uh, there, there's like a fake sniper wolf with 350 subscribers. Just how many I have. Um, <laughs> and basically, what they do is they just re up. They, they I think I think they have like a playlist or something. But they just re upload videos. But yeah, so um, I think the thing with Sniper Wolf. Excuse me, man. Oh, hold on. What? I accidentally made it. Um. The thing with uh, Sniper Wolf is like they just think it's funny, like it's the same thing with like reaction time. They think it's mm -hmm. funny, but it, like it just isn't really that funny. It really just um. One sec here. It really just feels like she goes, "Oh my god!" Like, and I'm like, "Who's watching this? Who is watching this and going, this is this is good content?" And here's the thing: I don't. I can't completely hate her for that. I mean, people are going to watch whatever they're going to watch. And 90% of my work is, once again, cloud chasing. So I really...
I don't I don't sit here and give myself an authority on good content. Yeah. But I, I see this and I'm like, there are people literally hand drawing things and posting them to YouTube, getting a quarter of her views. Meanwhile, she just goes on camera every single day and goes, Oh my god! Like what yeah. is what is wrong with people that this is what they're interested in? <laughs> Uh-huh. It's more of a, you know what, though, if people like or love what you love, don't let my uh, narrow view affect what you guys enjoy. Uh-huh. <laughs> what has been one thing that you wanted to make a video on, but you ended up not making a video on? Um, hmm. So, here's the thing. I would have loved to make one more video on Ashniko, but... I, I, I guess, uh, I don't know exactly what happened to her, but apparently something happened to her, and I couldn't find direct evidence. Oh, yeah, I heard that, too. From you, I but think, even. If something did happen to her, I wasn't going to continue the series, and I've said to myself, I'm not going to delete the videos, but I'm not going to continue doing it, because even I have standards, and it would be fun to make fun of the cringiness of someone going, look, I have demon horns, but... Yeah, uh, I, I, with that, and I, I, it's like whacking a hornet's nest, and I don't want to whack the hornet's nest. That's completely understandable as well. There's a certain level of being respect. Yeah. So your um your most viewed video nowadays has 230k. I remember I watched it when it was like a week old, and it had 8k, and now I didn't expect it to grow this hard. Um, yeah. yeah, and uh, my question is, what what made you want to make that video? Was it that you just found the video and you just instantly thought you made it, or did you like plan it out? Like, uh, real plan for it. Someone pointed me in the direction, sent me the link, and I was like, "Oh, mother of God!" <laughs> Back, and I was like, "Okay, I did Amy's Baking Company in the past. If she's making new stuff, I gotta go after it." Yeah, I so yeah, I wanted to make a video on that as well. I was thinking like, you know what? I'll I'll make a video on this. I, I just I recorded. It wasn't an unfunny video, but then I just realized like I don't I don't really I don't like even if this does well, it doesn't feel right. I'm just gonna let Thundros get loads of views instead of me just being like I'm stealing an idea from him. You know, I might make a video on it now because like. I'm bored, but like, um, you know, I don't think I will just because I don't think I'm, it's as big of a deal for me to make one as, as for you, for example. No, I hear you. Uh, son of a goat. Oh. But any other questions? Cause we gotta, we gotta wrap up just a little bit. I've got a yeah, few uh, things to do uh, before I go to work today. That's fine. I have one more question. Yeah, of course. Uh, if I can find the video, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, do you, um, what made you want to make the Shark Tank videos? Just to end this interview, what made you want to make the Shark Tank videos? So, uh, I have a friend. Uh, I've known her for about seven, eight years at this point. And this is when she worked at my workplace for a little bit. She was like, have you ever thought of making fun of uh, Shark Tank? She's like, I really love that show. So, I was like, you know what? I'll look into it. And... I'm sure there's other cringy products out there, but I just happened to make, was, you know, sitting there at work watching a few of them, and I was like, oh my god, this is terrible. <laughs> so, I thought, you know, why not? I it's, uh, it, I've made fun of reality shows in the past, I might as well make fun of other stuff, right? Exactly. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video, um, this interview. I hope you laughed. <laughs> um, if you um enjoy longer videos let me know join my discord link in the description as well because i'm a very fun person and you have to join my discord it's youtube law and um i'm kidding of course but it would help me out thank you for watching and subscribe to thunderous link in the description goodbye subscribe to yes yeah, subscribe to hacker all right goodbye up and coming <laughs> exactly